then yeah and i'm going to continue um that but i'm really praying that i finish it this ramadan because you know last ramadan i think i was it was last ramadan like reading the quran like i think i was i was in surah to hadid and it was already maybe like the 15 to 15 ramadan days had gone by and i was like mm, very slow but it seems like even though i started later it seems like um i'm going much more faster even though i started later and it didn't like mm, this is looking possible so i i really pray that it's possible that i finish it they're putting the whole around like this ramadan that would be really awesome i mean like we can <laughs> i really i i i you know i admire people that um that's like memorize the holy quran like if so quran i know i, I went when i went to my lake or madrasa uh we had to do i mean we had to do kriya and after you do kriya you do your walima you know walima is just a graduation for finishing quran and you know you know nigerians we go all out it's like your wedding day like just finishing the quran shall like your wedding they're gonna celebrate you everybody will be calling you malima to staza um amira like everybody will be consulting you on like islamic knowledge like oh i just finished the quran and then i continued and we were doing the tefsir the tefsir al quran like really doing like uh, from surat al fatiha to we started like we stopped like surat um uh, we stopped at um 50 50 ayah yeah you yeah, know i'm just going to walk away because i'm talking um i'm gonna walk this way for now yeah so we've stopped at uh surah um we stopped at 50th ayah in surat al Bakr. well i stopped there because you know that's when like i kind of like i'm coming to canada and so i had to stop that and like prepare my bag and shall come and now i'm here and then so with the hit with the tefsir quran so we kind of do it for i did i attended and then like like for so many for a while i still remember like the tefsir from fatty i mean i still remember it now um from fatty to like the 50th ayah that i stopped and after actually after when i came here when i came to canada and i was um yeah when i came to canada and i i actually read the significant amount of um the translation of the quran i read like maybe maybe around 2011 or 12 i read like by myself or i just read it from 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 fatiha all the way to maybe i don't know but i read significant amount of it yeah i almost finished but i didn't end up finishing it but i almost finished and yeah so that's how so i did the test here and i know they have like some class for hip so Quran, but you know i mean alas willing i do i do really admire people that do hip so Quran and like to memorize the whole Quran. you still don't see the, um dubai competitions and you'll be like ah mashallah. i wish god like give me that um that's memory stability memory agility you know memorization you know it's all is doing we pray for them and we pray for us too may Allah accept all our efforts Assalamualaikum. look how dry my lips are <laughs> i don't do something to you i mean i'm feeling good what am i about to show you prepare yourself i mean like it's still in the working condition but prepare yourself like what i'm about to show you mm -hmm. prepare oh see that see that do that this is gonna get done So another tradition that we do, you know, besides like reading the Quran and everything, you get busy. So you get busy doing what? You get busy doing this. I started, I also started this like a few days after the Ramadan started. So 
I mean like it's a cap like it is a cap hold on let me so it's a cap I mean it's coming I mean it's not done so I still want to add a few more circles to it so it just come together all at once but this is what I've been busy my, myself with if I'm not reading the Quran or like doing some other things around then I'm definitely doing this mm. I want to make like a few of them a few of this and you know I'm I'm, I'm going to give it to my my siblings like any my siblings my family any other person that wants them I don't know like if if my subscribers out there want one I will gladly send them to so yeah if you want one do send me a message or I don't know say that you want one comment that you want one and I will send you one so yeah Ramadan things like I remember when we go to when we, when I was in Nigeria during Ramadan especially during Ramadan like during Ramadan and especially during Ramadan you know students especially girls will come to school I mean boys will come with their with their soccer ball like their soccer ball is coming with them during Ramadan imagine Ramadan when everyone is frustrated and tired and you know hungry and everything that's when you see all these boys they be like playing soccer they be playing no so let me just let me not even call it soccer they playing football and you know football is soccer in in, in African countries like I don't know why I don't know why they say I don't know how the Americans they call football football when like the most of the time the ball is in their hands like the ball literally touch their feet maybe one or two times and it's cool but and the, and it's football but anyway the football I'm talking about it's soccer in Nigeria so yeah these people they come into school with their balls with their felele you know um those plastic balls or the soccer actual soccer balls to play ball that anyway but the girls you see like girls becoming with the um becoming to school with their knitting kits it's not it's not a class so it's not something like a class that you have we have a class and then everybody is required to bring their knitting kits they just they will come because like you know probably probably the teachers are tired too they probably like maybe won't spend um most of the and uh, the time of their period they won't spend it they won't spend it in the class and you know sometimes actually i remember in nigeria the ramadan usually fall around yeah ramadan will usually fall around like september for a while september october um like end of the years like when when the semesters are already like done so teach um students have so much free time to do whatever they want so each student will just come with their knitting kits knitting the whole day like even when they when the child is in class they will just put it on their dialogue be knitting oh no and that's how we use our ramadan in nigeria like, well when, in my part of the um, city shop, that's how we use our ramadan now i'm going to go cook and see how I'm going to fix this room. <laughs> Me, I was, I was like, I am going to fix this room. I'm going to fix this room. <laughs> but business shop and school, when school grab you and shake you, like all my stuff are like from school. I already like started packing and like, um, putting my stuff inside the garbage bag. So I just need to like. Like we literally, literally, before this bed was messed, I need to like strip this bed off and like um wash the whole thing. Brought stuff from my locker from school, which added more to the stuff that I have in my room. Like I don't know, maybe I'll just throw this thing away. I don't know why I haven't even threw it away. Maybe I'll just do. Uh, but I'm thinking like, would I would need it? No matter how many times that I use lips and uh, chapstick um lick my lips drink water this um this will 
to like today's so I drank considerable amount of water just because I don't want my lips to be dry. But look what happened. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna see. I'm probably gonna throw this stuff out. Cause I don't think I have room to put this stuff in. And I don't want to Anyway, so I'm gonna go cook and go pray. I wanted to do because I wanted to do quite a few of the caps so I got some colors like different kind of colors purple black yellow red pink and gray so I'm gonna do have fun doing mixing the colors together honestly if anybody wants just message and I'll send them to you and I think you're gonna like it it's just a cap you can use it as a bonnet like a yeah and I'll show you it I'll show you it when it's done Anyway, this room is gonna come together. Like after I do my laundry, do everything, so it will come together. But then, um, oh. but yeah, I am going to pray first. Yeah, I'm going to pray first because cooking actually. I've decided to pray first, and then I will come pray my grave, and then I'll cook. This is why I cook. It's gonna. Yeah, cooking takes a while, and Isha is like at 9.40 something, so, yeah, I'll do that first. and onions. These are habanero peppers. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna add two more to these eggs. Two more. It just look fresh. Yep. I'm gonna add some egg. It's this guy. Some point now, is this looking this good too? So, uh, uh, uh. I'm, so I'm just gonna eat after imagine at 10 15 or something. So, that's 
That is finally I was able to do I was able to pray Am Ishai and now I'm gonna go eat before I go eat I'm gonna do winter. I'll do winter and then I'll go eat. I'm not sleeping in the sun. The new European Nigerians will say, Eba Mireo. Mm -mm. mm. You know what part of the bread is good to eat with egg with? Fried eggs. The inner part. So good. This, I don't know how long this is going to take me to finish, but I really want to finish it so I can start a new one. Because I, I do want to make quite a few. Like I said, if you actually want one, you can do it me and I will make one and send it to you. And so the Prophet said in authentic hadith, no one is single in Jannah. So if you didn't have a spouse in this dunya, you will certainly have a spouse in Jannah. And Allah says, enter you and your spouses. Entum wa azwajukum. Eating together, enjoying the couches together, enjoying the new homes together, enjoying the memories together. Inna ansha'na hunna insha'a. You're a new creation altogether, person and personality. Faj'alna hunna abkara. You're like newlyweds. Uruban atraba. And of the same age. When you're in Jannah, you will miss each other a lot. Ibn Abi Lubaba, he narrates that you miss your spouse. Now you'll be listening to this time and then you're like smiling and, and like wondering and, and, and I have to want to make a video about this. Now, what if a woman was Inshallah, before the um, Ramadan hand, I want to, want to she would be with the last of her husband. Like I want to make a, a just a video commenting on like Jannah before ramadan ends inshallah i really do want to i've been watching this every day i've been watching his and dr haifa i think that's her name haifa she talks about she like she do series about um the prophet's wife like i think yesterday it was about sophia yeah or today i don't know i think today it was about sophia and then the next is about someone, but I think her name is Aifa, Dr. Aifa. I think, I think that's her name. As a husband, according to the majority, which would be the wisdom of the Prophet Sallallahu wives, not marrying after him, but still all the believers celebrate together and no one is sad or feels left out. Some of the stars, but once we enter into Jannah, we all become 33 years old. And so you get to see your child all grown up in Jannah in a way that's pleasing to you. So now you can dwell in the house of praise that was built for you together. And you can praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala together. <laughs> ارجعي إلى ربك راضية مرضية 
فادخلي في عبادي وادخلي جنتي The next one is finding your friends in Jannah. Can't wait for that. I'm going to be listening to this at, uh, at Suhoor. I mean, yeah, during Suhoor, we'll listen to that. I'm just trying to find something that I'll watch. Yeah, I'm trying to not watch anything like dramatic, you know. I'm just listening to like lecture videos, Quran, really. Like, I'm trying to keep it clean. Like we are on that journey to keep everything going. You know, when I actually first first started this thing, I did four here. I didn't, I, I wasn't really going for a specific pattern. I, I didn't know. But I did four here and then I did eight white. And then this is five. So now I want to do ten of this white and then I'll close it up. Because like look look, this is really huge. This is really huge. This can fit on my head already. This, yeah, it can literally fit on my head. And I should, and I can even like hand it right now. But I'm giving, I want to give this to my sister. Yeah. I want to give this to my sister. And I think, I feel like she has a big head. <laughs> if she watches this, she's going to be like, but yeah, I feel like she, maybe she has big hair or like, yeah. Because I've made like this kind of, um, like it's really huge right now. Like I use, yeah, I've used more of this white than I've used the blue. So, yeah. But I really, I feel like I need to add like about 10 more. So it'll go like this, 4, 8, 5, 10. And then I'll close it with this blue. So that's what I want to do. And yeah, like even if it's me, I feel like it's very yeah. Yeah, I do want to add because I want it to follow like the pattern that I. I mean, I didn't plan to do any pattern. Like honestly, I didn't plan. But since this is four, eight, five, ten, and then I'll close it. I feel like it's. I should do it that way. I wanted to have like more room so she can use it. But then I'm like, if I do 10, wouldn't it be too big? But then, who knows? Let me do it again. Like, I'm just thinking about this part, this part, and the back. That's why I want to add 10 to it. Like, literally, you can use this as a bonnet. It works. It works. But yeah, so we are just on day two. I like just two. <laughs> just on two. So I have eight more to go. And yeah. Then I'll close it up. Hopefully hopefully it's not going to be too huge on her. I'm hoping it won't be. You wanna learn how to make this? You want to learn? It's actually quite easy. Like I was, like I said before, um, I didn't, I didn't went to school for this. It just like you know, during those Ramadan time and other times when like this, my neighbors, um, do this cap, like around our house or maybe at school, and I, and I just learned. actually mostly my neighbors. And you know they don't like you to like be poking on on around and like be looking, be checking them, cause like they do it as business. They some of them they just do it and then they sell it. So they don't want you taking up their business. But me, I shall have this oju. I have my eyes, so I shall look and then I learn it like that, and then I picked it up and now, like. I remember when I was in university and in one of my, in drama class, I, t I took drama class. I did it for my, um, like the project we're supposed to do, like creative projects. Yeah. It's a vocational skill, so you can't go wrong with that. So, 
yeah um that's how i learn it's not like something that i learn from school or something it's just like neighborhood kids they're doing it and then i just i just look and you know i remember back then this thing this this needle or this crochet needle crochet knitting needle it cost about fifty to hundred dollars yeah fifty to hundred dollars and it's too interesting just watching them so but me i don't have money i don't have money to buy something like this and i don't even have money to buy the wool like this i don't have it but and and you know sometimes like just around the neighborhood like in landfill sometimes some people that have used their their cap like like something like this they will throw it in the landfill and i will find it and then i will work on it and some like that and the way that i and the needle that i use it's like you know those old brooms like um igbale old brooms not old one any kind of any kind the, the igbale like the actual igbale maybe i'll find a picture i'll put it here like i use the end of it because the end has like more it's more rough and it can hook the the this we can hook it more on the um stick so that's my needle that I used to learn or make some stuff back then. It's actually, it's fun. Like, you know, you can distress when you're, um, it's quite calming. If you start in the morning, you won't know when you will finish by evening. And then they'll be calling you to come and eat iftar. So that's how I, so the igbele was my needle. And I'll just get um, some cap on the landfill that some people throw, throw, um, some people throw out. And sometimes I remember one time one of my mom's cap, maybe it got burnt, or maybe yeah, maybe it turned or it got burnt or something. So she was gonna throw it away, and just and I took it. Yeah, and I took it and I worked on it. Uh, yeah, it was, there are so many styles. There's this banana styles that I love. It creates such a beautiful pattern when you do it. They call it banana styles. This is a different, there's, this is not a net style. This is not a net. But it is, um, I don't know how to describe it, but you go into the hole twice. You can go into the hole as many times, but I only go into the hole twice. So it's more, it's very clustered together, depending on how many times you go to enter the hole, like if you walk, this is not net, but this is a female style, oh yeah, this is a female style, like the banana is also a female style, this is a female style of cup, and there's also male styles, I've, I have made one for my dad before, and my brother, I think, yeah, I made one for him, like male styles kind of cup like this me one like that for my brother and my dad and yeah and the wool that we use it's exactly the same as this but it's more sturdy this is like a wool the one we use is called trine trine is it twine or trine i think it's called twine so it's more sturdy it's more shiny too this one is like wool like it's not as shiny but the one that it's exactly like this but it's more, more shiny. Well, we call it twiny. Uh, trying, trying. Is it trying or twine? Or anyway, yeah, that word. That's what we call it. It's and it's so beautiful. So, I'm doing this for my sister. I feel like her head is huge. So that's why I'm <laughs> she will say this and she will be like, hey. so you you come to insult me, Abby. But anyways. She will get over it. Okay, so I'm just watching this cassava, how to make up and um, fufu, uh, cassava, like the fufu cassava, not the, I know like in, I don't know why in the western uh, space or western um, 
society, every solid or every swallow is called fufu. Like literally, you have a ba inyo amala um semu tuwo um baku. Uh, there's so many, so many swallow, but in Western society, they are all fufu. When the fufu, the fufu, the original fufu, the actual fufu is just the cassava fufu. Like the cassava fufu is the fufu. <laughs> the cassava is, too, is the fufu. Like amala is different. Uh, Eba is different. Samu is different. Banku is different. Um, Dokunu is different. Uh, Samolina is different. Lafu, the way I also have lafu, lafu lunge lafu lunge only a lucky. I'm a lunge only a missyogo. In a lunge only a book. I just book out of work. Okay. Anyways, like, but in the Western society, everything is fufu. No, no. <laughs> the cassava is the only fufu. What's made from cassava? Except like la you know lafon, I think lafon is like a lubol which is the yam and the cassava mixed to it. I think I love lafon by the way. I've always loved lafon. It's like the perfect amala that it's I think it's the first amala that I know how to to do, how to cook. And it doesn't it doesn't turn into pebbles. It doesn't have pebbles on like amala, the original one. But anyways, yeah. This, so I was watching this uh, cassava to make fufu, like cassava fufu, and apparently you have to ferment it for four days and then blend it and then keep it for another six to seven days. I'm like, ah, uh -uh. I didn't know. I had no idea. I just thought, I just thought like you get the flour. It's like the same as flour as um yam flour. That you used to make amala, I thought like you will like cassava flour. You just put it in the um, hot water and then you stir, and that would. Uh, I'm just watching now. So, mm -hmm, what? What? <laughs> but maybe there, there's probably like the powder one too. But this is like original. But mind you, I'm talking about fufu. Me personally, I do not like fufu. And don't get me wrong, just the cassava fufu. That's the um, I don't like it. No. I mean I tried it maybe once or twice. Like, no, mm, on my taste. I've I've never liked it. I mean I like Hamala, I like Lafu and all other swallows. But cassava fufu, not my kind of dish. Maybe in the future, sir. Sure. But fast forward now, um, not my kind of dish. So the one that I'm watching is like the real authentic um fufu, uh, fufu like the one that's made from like the cassava all the way from the beginning. So the original like the um cassava fufu, it has this um distinct aroma that just throws me off, and I think and I think that's part of why I didn't know I don't like fufu, the cassava fufu that much. Yeah, yeah, like it's very strong. And now that I'm just learning that, you know, the, the process of making the actual food, it's very long. Like, this girl, this lady is making probably like a three-person um, dish. And it's taking four days, seven days, like about 11, 12 days to make. And the part of the process is fermenting it. So, the fermentation, I think the... The distinct aroma comes from the fermentation of the cassava. That's why it has so much um, distinct um, aroma or distinct smell to it. And I think it's the actually the aroma that actually throws me off from not liking the fufu and from like not eating it. But from what I've heard, it is very good dish. I remember when I used when I go to my madrasa in like, there was this um there was this like little village or little village that we found out we found out like the students of my like, my madra the students in my madrasa they found out that there is this village here and they do like cassava and one day I 